Hi, Glenn Phillips with Lake Homes Realty and LakeHomes.com. Today I want to talk to you about the four signs that a lake home has been grossly overpriced. So that if you're trying to buy a lake home, you're not going to, to get in something you can't get your money back. And if you're selling, make sure you could use these tips to be sure, have I grossly overpriced my own home? So let's get started. So number one, days on market. This has to do with how long has this home, from the time it was listed, to, to the current date has it been sitting there. The market has really been hot lately and homes are going really quick. Now, I think there's some advantages of not selling a home and getting under contract in one day. But if you start, even if you go through a week or, or 10 days, mm, that could be suspicious. But if I see homes that are on the market at the lake for 25, 30 and more days, this is a sign that the, the people have looked at this home they're, they're anxious to buy a home and it is so grossly overpriced, they're not even making offers uh, and, or they're making lower offers and the, the home seller's refusing to accept them and nobody's raising their bid. So the market is speaking. It says, we're not gonna pay this price. Tip number two, if you've made an offer on a home and it turns out you're using a mortgage you get or not, you, you hire an appraisal, uh, either way, there's a big gap between the appraisal and what your, the, the sale price is. Uh, and now, in some situations, people are writing a check to get, bridge this appraisal gap. But the bigger that gap is, the bigger the sign that this is a grossly overpriced home. And if you buy a home that's grossly overpriced, you need to be buying for personal reasons and not investment reasons, because you probably won't get your money back on that property once the market cools off a little bit. Uh, tip number four uh, of a sign that, that lake homes grossly overpriced is, is back on the market. So a home, it's put on the market, it, it gets listed as pending, and it comes back on the market. Now there can be other reasons. It could be uh, a loan contingency and, the, and it was a reasonable price and the loan, the buyer couldn't really get financed. That's not always an absolute reason. But if I see a home that's crazy priced and then it, it uh, goes under pending and then goes back on the market, that may be a case of, of the appraisal didn't come in and the appraisal gap was so big, the buyers and the bank are just like, we're not going to touch this. Uh, it could be somebody who had some other financial problem. And so this back on the market, particularly if it, if it goes on the market, listed as pending, back on the market, and then remember, days on market keeps going and sits and sits and sits. This is a case of somebody adventuresome trying to buy it at the crazy price it didn't work. So days on market and then back on market are a couple of clues. And the, the fourth sign a home is grossly overpriced is if you can look back through the history of that home and, and suddenly it's had a 30, 40, 50% price increase over the time, last transaction on that home that was within the last, say, five years. And you can tell whether you visit or you look at the home that there's been no significant investment. This is someone who's treating the hot market like it's just a lottery. And so they've made this massive price increase just figuring, hey, I heard the market's hot, so I'm gonna sell at this crazy price like I bought a lottery ticket. That's one of the other signs that the home is grossly overpriced. And if you watch that home, it's gonna sit. Other people, despite being in a hot market wanting to buy, you know, they're very interested in buying and they'll pay premium, but they're not gonna pay stupid. So these are my four signs that a lake home is grossly overpriced. Whether you're buying or you're trying to price your lake home, I hope this has been helpful. We have lots of other tips and videos, as well as articles, not only about buying and selling, but other aspects of, of the lake life at lakehomes.com. So be sure and check us out. I hope this video is helpful and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.